the certificate of return given to the man called Senator Ahmed Bola Tinibu as president-elect. Seven, appoint an interim president for Nigeria that will take over from President Muhammadu Buhari after May 29. <laughs> don't post. <laughs> he don't post. <laughs> I tell you, Nazi Tinubu will be president. Nazi say even though he pray. Listen to this. Now, interim president, now they come. Tinubu will not they go there. You know, Nazi say you listen to that one. <laughs> now, two prophecy where I don't mean I don't see two prophecy come to pass. The way they predicted. Now, the two of them they come exactly with the way this matter they go. One of them say one person will be declared winner, but everybody will remain silent. It will be that same person die. But the second one who win the election will say no. Now, like, let's go to court. Let's go to court. Choo -choo will be article the double court. You know say the court will not declare the person the winner. That news, once that news broke out like this, it will shock the whole world. It will shock everybody. The jubilation will supersede this first one. Everybody will be rejoicing and jubilating. Now he, now the first prophecy. The second one said if you ask him who is the next president, I will say he will say Osimanjo. But Osimanjo is not contesting as president he lost in primary. But it's not but if you ask me as a prophet I will tell you, Osiba Joy is the next president before anything happens. Now, interim president, now the council, Osiba uh, Joy will be sworn in, depending how long it takes to do another election. Two things. Either Osiba Joy will be sworn in as interim president, or they will declare Peter will be the winner. <laughs> Two things. Either they, 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 they annul this election, they run, do another election, then Osiba Joy will be sworn in as interim president. Or now, court will declare Peter will be the winner because evidence they across 36 states. This all don't come out already. What I will say, I just say, Tinubu will not be our president. That is everybody they free. Listen to this now. I'm going to hear everything that they talk now. Not be me talking. All this one are group organization. When this one are their job, listen to this. I appreciate this video. Good news. This one are good news. <laughs> Tinubu will not be our president. Appreciate this video. Action, action carried out by INEC before going through every election action carried out by INEC before, during and after the presidential elections and discovered that the leadership of INEC did not host an election with the influence of the Electoral Act but hosted a doctored script already arranged as a selection game plan to make the ruling ABC remain in office. These actions are wrong from every aspect of a nation practicing democracy as a system of government. And as a democracy outfit, we in the, we in the VMCII are officially rejecting the outcome of the elections released by INEC as results and we are only we are the only ones that are fit enough to ask the INEC and the federal government to revert the process the proceedings of the 2023 presidential elections to a cooking pot of a stillborn child because its process are honestly not accepted by the people and the values of our democracy in general. The world knows that these presidential elections were conducted under a very serious disrespectful disrespect to our citizenry because INEC refused to follow the rules of the game which provides that voting results were expected to be uploaded at real time which the world did not see at all. These are electoral irregularities and it provided, it, it provided the platform for the election rigging we have seen today. One, cancel the presidential elections. Two, upload original voters' result as in the beavers. Three, Remove the INEC chairman as head of the commission. Four, arrest the INEC chairman and prosecute him by law for being part and parcel of those who read this election in regards to making the APC remain in power.
five, withdraw the certificate of return given to the man called Senator Ahmed Bola Tinibu as president-elect. Six, present a new electionary calendar date for the presidential and national assembly election in view of the 2023 electionary act by the uh, 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 supported by the uh, electoral act of the federal republic of nigeria seven appoint an interim president for nigeria that will take over from president Muhammad buhari after may 29 2023 so that the interim president will finish the would finish the work load that president Muhammad Buhari is expected to do in may 29 because if INEC or this federal government agrees to cancel this election it means that there will be new there will be a new electionary plan and the law states that president Buhari cannot be allowed to stay more than may 29 for uh, his tenure in office. So therefore, that brings an opportunity why an interim national government will be formed. So we advise the president to please stand aside, follow the law, shop from now for someone who could be appointed as the interim president that will conduct the new elections while he go back to Dara. May 29. INEC chairman must eight INEC chairman must apologize to Nigerians for lying to the nation and faking the 2023 presidential election results. Nine. We state here in that with our findings of the electionary activities, Mr. Peter Obi of the Labour Party remains the winner of the 2023 presidential elections. So he should be declared winner if the elections can not be canceled as requested by the Nigerian people who voted for him nationwide, giving Peter Obi their mandate. Meaning that if these elections cannot be canceled, we have to use the beavers to declare the real results. We have these results already with our agents scattered across Nigeria in the election day, and we have decided to declare that Peter Obi of the Labour Party is the original winner of the 2023 presidential elections, and INEC should obey the law by declaring Peter Obi president of Nigeria. 10. As we stand up daily at the National Fountain in Abuja for our democracy, and our presidential mandate, we call on the federal government to take away any security personnel that will be a distraction to our very peaceful protest to take back our Nigeria at all costs. This means that this group is going to come out from tomorrow at the Unity Fountain to peacefully protest the return of our mandate stolen by the INEC chairman and his leadership until they return that mandate either in court or either by cancellation of the elections for another election will remain there and we advise and we expect that the security apparatus of the Federal Republic of Nigeria controlled by President Muhammad Buhari should not be a distraction to what we are doing. We are going to be there in peace. We love Nigeria. And the only way to show love for Nigeria is to present Peter Obi as president of Nigeria or not.